Yeah. yeah. And be like, do you nerd? Perfect. <laughs> Hey, nerdlings. What up, nerdlings? Okay, so the Branson Con love continues because we want to give you guys a closer upper look at Lady Lacey's experience with Bruce Holt's workshop that he did with the Forged in Foam. We made a shield, and it was so cool. I had so much fun doing it. I have this major, major obsession with foam weapons anyway, so when I heard I could make a foam shield, I was like, <laughs> awesome! I know, it was right up her alley. It was so up my alley, and I had so much fun. We all got our own little passes that say um, workshop pass forged in foam from Bransicon. So I felt very official wearing this. <laughs> I rather enjoyed doing that. And we were we were very safe. We all, I kept my little mask. But, <laughs> because you liked it. Because I liked it. It was really good because I have really bad allergies. And I was like, hey, this is going to be awesome. So when we were spray painting, we had to wear masks. So I, I wore my mask. And then I also kept my little extra eagles from my for my shield because they were just really pretty. I liked them. <laughs> now real quick, if you, guys, I'm a nerd like that. if you guys have never heard of Bruce Holt, he is an amazing cosplayer. He really I'm is. gonna put a link down in, in the description so you can check him out for yourself because you will not believe the stuff this man has yeah. been able to do. So his workshop that he did last year at Vision Con, they did um, armor that uh, resembled or was very close to the armor from Starship Troopers. And so that was kind of a, a really big build workshop that they did. And I kind of really wasn't interested in that, but as much fun as I had in this one, I don't think I probably would have cared. <laughs> I did want to say that uh, Bruce was extremely professional. He had some yeah, great helpers in there with him mm -hmm. and they did an amazing job. The thing is, they had a huge class. It was. I think he said it was his biggest I class he's so. ever done. Which was very cool that that many people were showing interest and showing up and, you know, participating in this. But at the same time, whew, sometimes it made it a little overbearing for them to try it to did. keep up. But they were awesome about doing it. Uh, they were so, so professional. I cannot mm -hmm. stress that enough. There were people that were doing all kinds of weird things. Uh, you know, some of the uh, younger craftsmen, I guess, <laughs> in there uh, would maybe jump ahead just a little bit. But they just embraced it all. And it was so cool to yeah. see that. Yeah, I, I can't tell you how much fun I had in there. It was, it was so much fun. He was so helpful. And even though I was very nervous going in because I'm... Do not consider myself artistic at all i don't you know i don't i don't paint i don't draw so i was very nervous about that you know making it weathered but he made it so easy and just laid back and simple that it just he he said in the beginning it'll just come to you it'll just flow and i was like yeah right but it actually did when it came time to painting the shield it was just like oh yeah here i go yeah yeah you know, and, so. And even the people in the class, everyone was having such a good oh, time. Yeah. We got to talk to all kinds of people in there, and it was just so much it fun. It was. It was fun camaraderie going on and just funny little conversations here and there going all over the place. So, yeah. All right. Well, we're going to show you guys some of the class, and be sure to come back because you want to see this finished product, yeah, right? Yeah, you want to see Shield. Hey, nerdlings. I'm doing a shield workshop. How cool is that? It's a foam shield. The leather backing. Here's our hand straps. We get to pick out a centerpiece that it chose this one. And then I got rope design for the edge. It's gonna be fun. This hold is really awesome. Please, I've got masks, uh, 
know, that you put on, put them on, secure them over the nose, it'll help out. Um, if, and on the consent form, if anyone's pregnant, I'm sorry, I'm going to have to ask you, I'll give you your money back, okay, uh, because I can't take that chance. I had one last year that was pregnant and um, did not know it. She had to leave the class to finish her bill um, for her. So, but this year, I think we're good. All right. Um, introducing people. Come up here. Because this is going to be real quick. We want to get as much done today so we can get them class and get. Um, we're ready for you guys tomorrow to come in and do the paint. Uh, some of you might be ahead today to where we can get a plastic dip. Um, at noon, uh, I have to leave here at noon. I've got a panel right next door, but I've got to get dressed for it. So. Um, but these right here, don't keep them too long afterwards, but it will help you. Uh, you want to make sure everybody shields fine so we don't get mixed up with the plastic dip. Um, but this is Eli Martin. Known him since he was 10 years old. I uh, used to do costuming with his father, and he, uh, he was very creative uh, with what he does. I'm a little lame, uh, <laughs> but um, great help, and um, I think he has his son. This is Michelle, his wife, not wife. Or Mitchell. Or Mitchell. <laughs> um, messed up on her shirt. Um, she is Eli's wife. Um, and again, a lot of help. I can't do these panels without. And JC and John Mitchell. <laughs> um, I met them at a con what, three, four years ago. Three years ago. And uh, I was blown away by the costume she was wearing. And then went up and talked to her. Um, created a friendship and asked her to help me out with some, some stuff. So, 84 inch standy, 84, 84 inch standy out there. She made that. So, uh, all these instructions. Um, she made that also. So let's get started. I smell check. I know you did. That's enough questions. Yes. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to try to um, get all of your spare parts up on the office because this is going to be great. What we're going to do is we're going to do some latex, so if you've got latex allergies, uh, please are, allow our handlers to, to put this on. Once it's on there, it will not bother you one, one bit. But this is going to be quick. We're going to um, put latex on the shield, on the wood part of the shield, and then We'll let you guys lay out the other rollers. Now, since I've only got one um, roller pan, which we'll start on one side and work our way around, um, I want to, any questions, I'll be answering while they're doing that. Okay? Um, and feel free. Feel absolutely free to ask me any question. As long as it pertains to this, I can't tell you about my wife or my finances. <laughs> but, um, and I would also suggest to you, if you're getting on board, go through the manual and kind of familiarize yourself with what we're going to do. Okay. <laughs> Hit the books. So, what do you think? I think this is going to be complicated and scary. Everyone has an artistic bone in their body, but I don't think so. I'm a little nervous. I'm not very artistic. BBA foam on the front. What we're going to do is we're going to we're going to cement the edge of the leather down with this. Now this has got some gym to it. Right? We're going to I put them in these to minimize the amount of gym in the air. <coughs> what we're going to do is we're going to squeeze this around the edge, and then you brush it in on your um, leather. And the, the part that's exposed on the on the shield on the back. As we come around, we'll we'll make sure we do that. 
these edge pieces that I, I had, of course they're straight and you think, oh, what are we going to do with that? Well, once we put the bar cement on these, let them dry, you will work this around the edge and you'll find out it'll go perfectly around that edge. And you just work it down, you know, work it down along that edge. Then when we get to the end, you're going to have to displace it. Of course, with three pieces like this, right, you're going to have to splice them together, but then that last piece you're going to have to cut because there's extra length there. And don't, don't try to pull it. I mean, if you try to pull it, it's going to stretch out and you'll have thin up here and then wide down here. So just lay it in uh, as you're going around your shield. As you're going around your shield, just lay it in around the edge. Like I said, it'll be cemented, and you'll be amazed at how well the bar cement holds this on. Okay. Um, if you want to get a little more creative, you can undercut that. You can match your, uh, I would suggest matching your pieces. Okay. So once you start putting this on, know that you're going to end up with a, you don't want to end up with a gap like that. So we're going to have to cut and make sure that we have exactly the same spacing. Okay. I need to give them something to do. What we're going to do, and I'll, I'll demonstrate this a couple of different places. While you're waiting for that, okay, take, take your seamless and all the way around. Now take your brush. Oh, we're just doing this. Okay. Okay. And get it up on the wood as well. What about the edge? No. No. Okay.
the knife your pieces here. I see. <laughs> So if we do want our centerpiece to be a dome? Yep, uh, they're shaping up right over yonder. Push it over on me. Uh, I'm like this. 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 I've got different size balls and stuff like that to, to make my rollover on. But after you've got a roll, if you press it down into the salsa ball and let it cool completely, it is a dump. It is going to be perfect and come over there. That's what you end up with. Wow, perfect. perfect. <laughs> Absolutely perfect. And I don't know if you guys have seen this or not, but it's actually starting to take a little curl. That's when you know you have about have enough heat. And it's you've got to Work it down slowly, and it's going to seem like it doesn't really do much. Try to overheat this, and it'll start to bunch on So, do it a little bit like that first. Come in and let it almost flat now. It's going to start to pull that shape. That's why you can let it flat now. That's where you need to put more cement. She's, okay. She's having to be all the time. She's like, where's my salad bowls? Are they out of the shop again? And I'm like, no. It's, it's, <laughs> it's on there. What? This, this right here is your furniture leg. Like. <laughs> and then everybody's seen the, the wood balls. They have like a coffee bottle and stuff. This one is also a furniture leg. I just made the shapes of that one. Okay, so you want these lines to go straight up. So that's the bottom of your shield, that's the top. Okay. So just figure out like which way you want your triangle to be. Okay. And you're going to stick it down. You get it down, you really press those quarters in. Okay. And then I'll help kind of keep the dome shape. Okay. You've got to have enough glue on there. You think that's on there pretty good? I think so. You guys see how that ends up? extra little things that might have rivet holes like this one here. We need to add rivets to anything that has rivet holes into it. Um, and then there's one there that's going to have rivet holes in it. So you leave this here, we're going to take it out and we're going to plastic it. Um, on this one, do you want to put rivets in there or do you want to leave open holes? It's real quick, real easy. These holes do need to be drilled, mm -hmm. okay? Yeah. But these these holes here, yeah, the rivets are probably cool. yeah we'll, uh, we're setting rivets up there for those. It's not like you're gonna put two pieces of them, just going these. Okay. It's plastic. Okay. Okay. And you can you can use any of these. We're gonna have to use some gold. It doesn't matter what color you use. And then you put a little bit. As a matter of fact, I take them. And anybody that wants to put these on, mm -hmm. punch their holes, put their large cement in there. And then them up here. Well, and then that's all you do. You just, you just push them in. And, and they're not set on the back. They just, the only reason why I use the all on it um, is to get it to where it'll push down hard.
People think when they paint uh, wood grain that they need to paint it tan or brown or something like that. Wood, wood is not tan or brown. Wood is gold. And so if you start with the gold, it's a light dusting and everything. Highlight over it, then it gets you the realistic look and wood look. So um, it's, uh, it's something that people fail with a lot. I love that. Absolutely. You guys are just amazing at, at the stuff that you guys create. I mean, the, the little boy with the, the filigree coming out, using it as plain. I mean, that's just, that's artistic. I, I, I told you guys, you guys all have talent, you just need to find it. Right? So, what we need to do, when we go down to the trailer um, to paint, you must wear a mask. I won't let you, I'll paint it for you if you want me to. But I won't let anybody paint anything without a mask. Even though it is just, uh, you know, spray paints that we use. And they're not, like, uh, any heavy lacquers or anything like this. But, again, you have to agree to that because otherwise I'll pay you for you. <laughs> All right? So, um, anybody here want to do on black? That's what I want to know, just detail on black because uh, black would be cool too, but it's not as, it doesn't pop as much. For the ones that want to start painting on black, okay? These paints are Createx paints, and it's the only thing I use. And it's water based paint. Uh, it takes very little of it. You don't have it's not like it's not like these that you have to goop on and, and it takes hours to dry. This is literally dry in five minutes. And after we seal them out, which I've got to find the seal, uh, once we seal them out, you can't paint on them anymore. It, it just won't take. Right, because I don't use uh, a gloss sealer or anything like that online. I use a wax and it seals it out. You can be out in the rain. Paint doesn't come off of it. Uh, it, 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 it a lot of weather conditions. Um, that's one of the things I want to teach you about this, especially the costume you can take this to costume and use the same kind of paint you give it at the Hobby Lobby. You might think they're expensive, that's five bucks for that, right? You don't believe how long these things last. Because you don't really use a lot of them. Uh, Eli and Michelle will be here pretty soon with some more paintbrushes. We've got some of them in one of those. Uh, to get started, if you guys want to get started. Um, again, I want to know here, everybody want to spray paint? I do, yeah. Okay. Sure, okay. Um, let's take, grab your shield. Alright, and I think we'll start with the first thing you say, probably JC. Just listen to that instruction that I gave you. See the shield. So these are yeah. just the places we want metallic yep. colors, but the other colors will be that'll be later. Right? That'll be later, yeah. So you'll see here, like you just can use your finger and just rub it on there wherever you want it. Okay. And then we've got paints for later for after the metallic part. Okay. Like a robot, <laughs> like a weird robot. <laughs> <laughs> I got one or two, and then I forgot, and I squeezed the two. Oh, okay, well. Yeah. Right.
Dirt and grime got caught in the really angle your brush down. You almost want to dry it out. Oh, okay. Because all we're doing is giving it some shadow and some lettering. And it doesn't have to be perfect all the way around the edge because when when weathering hits it, when something's weathered, mm -hmm. it's not perfect. You know, right. when, when a dirt gets on something, it'll be a splatter of dirt, it's not going to be perfect. So, okay. just get in there and really tap that edge, and that way you don't get that line. Okay, okay. okay. So, it doesn't matter that we get it like on the outside? Oh, no, not at all. Okay. You want it to be, because when, when we're through, we're going to do a brush streak across this anyway, with more weathering where we're going okay. to. We're going to hit this a little bit with some weathering, but of course, it's pretty dry. Now. But we do that with a lot bigger brush. Okay. Right. Okay. His has a, um, a distressed paint look. If that's the bottom, all of your shadow is going to be down here. So what you want to do is just streak it across. And nothing, nothing serious. I mean, no, not a lot of paint. Stream. If you get too much on and you don't like it, we can remove a little bit with alcohol. But this is what you want. And um, I only have one of these brushes. It's all right. What you want to do is, is just get in here and do some streak. It doesn't matter how it lays on. Can you go over the okay, objects? like that? Okay. Do just a little bit more on that. Don't do a lot. What you learned here? Yes. Take the manuals uh, with you when when you go because I want you to know that. Um, the information you got today, this ain't the end of it. Uh, follow me on Facebook, message me, whatever. Uh, if you got something that you want to do yourself, get with me. I'll do further instruction. Uh, from now on, you know, if you have any questions at all. Um, I hope this inspired you guys. We're going to go ahead and finish up with the straps on, um, get them sealed out. You need some. I know that. Okay. Um, we're going to get the, sealed out the straps on and everything. And the one thing I would request is every one of you, please, uh, meet me down at 1215 in the main stage area. We're all going to get up on stage. They're going to have a photo op, and this is going to be amazing, all these shields. And what, what we're going to do is on the count of three, we're all going to say, Branson, Comic Con, Forged in Foam, as loud as you can say it. All right, because that's that's the thing. I hope that uh, hope you guys are satisfied. If not, I'm I'm always here. All right. Okay. So it all turned out really well. So the, like I said, the artist that I I'm so glad that we have all these different shields. Yeah. You know, it would be kind of boring if we all made my shield. Right. I've made hundreds of shields. You're gonna add color to it. We've got some colors here. Um, this is really, really high pigmented paint, so it doesn't take a lot of paint.
Guys, this tape right here is kind of expensive. It's nine dollars roll. But wait, let me show you something about this tape that I really, really like. All right. Usually you get this, you rip it, it's crooked, whatever, or you cut it to get a straight edge. This right here, you just pop it and you have a straight edge. Nice. It's called it's 3M Platinum and it's nine dollars roll. But if you do any of this kind of work, that is so awesome. Bill. That's cool. Looks awesome. <laughs> So again, what a fun, amazing class. Thank you, Bruce, yes. for doing stuff like this and getting all these people together because every single person, you could tell they were having a lot of fun in there, especially yes. her. I had so much fun. <laughs> and I personally also want to thank you so much. You were so informative and helpful and you were very, very patient with with everybody. You didn't seem annoyed with, with any kind of question that was asked or anything that was going on. Um, you know, there was one part of my shield that he didn't like the way it looked and, you know, he was like, I, this is my thing. I want it per perfect. So, you know, we redid a part of my shield and it, you know, turned out great and awesome. And I just, I'm just really excited for the next workshop. I cannot wait for the next workshop. I almost really don't even care what it is. I'm, I'm just taking the workshop. <laughs> She's already sold. I'm already sold. So are you guys ready to see the shield that I made? Ta-da! Oh man, look how fantastic this looks. I know. So, and the neat thing was we all had the same base material. We all had the big uh, shield. We all got some, there were two different kinds of this edging that you could do and like three or four different kinds of the, of the center thing. And we all had the same kind of embellishments that we could use, but not a single shield was even close to looking the same. And you know, nobody even, I didn't really hear people talking about, oh, I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. It was just, it just all came to us, you know, and it was just one of those things that we just kind of arranged things however, you know, and we all painted things differently and everything, and it was just so much fun. It was really great to see that group creativity in there of everyone doing their own thing and coming out with their own end result. And I was actually kind of surprised at how some of the techniques were, like the certain techniques to, you know, make your foam kind of more beveled up or you know things with rivets in it and you know gluing things on the other thing is this was a black you know foam piece and we didn't really do that much painting on it to make it have this wood look to it so it was kind of neat it was just like with the spray paint just some some quick sprays here of different colors that really just worked well together and then a couple brush strokes of things here and there and then on the back we, real quick you know we had the wood piece that gave it the firmness of it and then you know we glued the leather on they asked you if you were a righty or a lefty with your shield so that you could you know because you wanted the bigger side to be back here and so that you can hang on to it and it's actually it's speak well mostly because it's foam but i actually thought the wood was going to make it heavy but it's actually really light and really comfortable 
So I am just super happy and super pleased with the way my shield came about, and I will probably try to come up with some kind of Renaissance character to incorporate my shield with now. Oh yeah, definitely want to show it off at the Ren Fair. Yep, and they sealed this, um, so they said you can take it out into the rain and everything, and actually use it in LARPing, but I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I had I had so much fun doing this. All right, well, once again, on behalf of the Nerd, Bruce, thank you yes. very much for such an awesome experience and a very, very cool uh, piece to come from it, you know. Yeah. And nerdlings, we absolutely want to hear if you've ever taken any type of a uh, uh, craft class like this yeah. where you get to make your own props or anything mm -hmm. or if you would be interested in it and if you are be sure to check any local conventions that you plan yeah. to go to and see if they have that because one it's a lot of fun but two it supports them and three look at the awesome thing yeah. you get to take home and the other thing is that if anybody's taken a class with Bruce I would love to see what you made with him did oh, you take definitely. the class with me and you know what did your shield look like or if you've taken previous workshops with him Let's see what you made with him, you know, just fun stuff like that. All right. Well, of course, leave those likes if you happen to like the video. We want some comments down there. And be sure to subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you can see what kind of new videos are coming up next. Don't forget to like us on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram for those those closer upper pictures. And if a video is dropped, don't forget to head over to Tee Public and get some of our merchandise. And as always, nerdlings, if we like it, we nerd it.